सो हेलो गाइज हाउ आई यू वेलकम टू द चैनल जो लोग नए हैं एंड वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल जो लोग पुराने हैं एंड स्टार्ट दीडियो विद द शॉर्ट इंट्रोडक्शन सो माई नेम इज लक्ष्य सैनी आई एम अ कमर्शियल पायलट फ्रॉम साउथ अफ्रीका आई मीन आई डेंट माई कमर्शियल फ्रॉम साउथ अफ्रीका एंड नाउ आई हैव अप्लाइड फॉर माई लाइसेंस इन इंडिया my conversion process is done and on that short and sweet note today video is highly requested one from my telegram group if you are not aware about that so there's a link in the description which you can go and join my telegram group it's sort of a group of aviators which are very new to this community very new to this aviation world they don't know anything about it like which class to take which school to take and uh, how much money they are required how to do many things like notes and all much more so you can just go you can just have a look there and uh, if it find interesting you can just join the group okay so on that sweet note short and sweet note let's start today's video on the topic the documents you require for your conversion in india Yeah, everything is done, and uh, for now on, let's start. Let's uh, let's jump straight in. So basically, I did my commercial from South Africa, right? So I'm just gonna lay the road map for you. So you uh, you will be not that confused. Ki, hey, I'm kya kare hain? India mein aage, what to do? So basically, I was very confused. I have to dial a lot of my friends. Ki, kaise karna hai? How to do? How to manage these things? Next step kya hai? What's the next step? so let's lay a road map dikhte hain is side aur jagah is side never mind so first of all whenever you land in india the first thing you are going to do is apply for a rtr license in south africa is a commonwealth country you are eligible to apply for the rtr license and the validity of that will be one year okay so how to apply that rtr license well i have made a specific video on that topic idhar aa jayega kahin pe and you can just go there and You can just watch that video and apply it. Very easy, right? It's very easy process. Saral Sanchar ke through apply karte hain. That's a website called Saral Sanchar. Saral Sanchar, and you the basic amount. I mean the time required. It's one month. One month may you will get your RTR license, RTR uh, P license certificate for which is validated for uh, one year. Okay, and uh, once. once you applied for your rtr license and uh, the second step is medicals do your class 1 either it's going to be a renewal or it's going to be initial just do it just book the date early as as you land in india 2 3 days after you do your medicals if it's renewal or 10 15 days after if it's initial all right and uh, in the meanwhile just apply for rtr license and uh, Once your medical journal, you have to wait. You have to wait for your assessment to come, which requires a minimum of one month, one to one point five months. In my case, me two point five months lag gaye. I have to go to DGCA, then I have to take my medical for myself. Hmm. So there I spend time a lot of time there. Hmm. So and अगर ये गलती नहीं करना चाहते, so as soon as you are done with your medicals, as soon as if you are not seeing any assessment coming soon or whatever after one month just go to dgca jorbag metro station pe hoga ye near jorbag opposite side of sub darjan airport all right and uh, headquarters jao go to medical cell visiting hours wednesday thursday 2 to 5 hai just go on those days only aur agar lag din jate ho so you're just wasting your time hmm. and uh, so once you are done with your medicals After you get your assessment, you are eligible to apply for a FRTOL, and the documents you need for FRTOL is basically the same. Only one thing is added is your police verification or sort of character certificate. So how you do you apply that? You can just go if you are from any state of India. You just have to go to that state uh, police uh, website. Actually, and uh, there is a list of options. Ki I have to apply for character certificate. You just go there. pay the fees it's it's very less fees and uh, you just go to the nearest police station to you take two witnesses along with you and they will apply your character certificate and you will get it online right 
it's very easy it takes around one to two weeks just uh, do it beforehand before you apply for your FRTL because that's the main document you require all right and uh, after that you apply for your FRTL FRTL application applying procedure very easy it's very basic you just uh, go to EGCA and you will find it every document uh, will be with you except for the character certificate which you will take in hand from the police and uh, you just upload it there and uh, you apply for FRTL after your FRTL has been applied wait for it after it is issued and uh, dispatched and uh, and you have received it physical copy of it then you are eligible to fly any aircraft in India and uh, and not any aircraft the aircraft you are rated on actually and uh, you just have to find a school in the meanwhile and uh, just call a bunch of schools whichever uh, finds you whichever suits you comfortable whichever near to you or far away and uh, whichever fits in a budget and time limit and uh, around that it would be probably around four months three three months three to four months around and you would have left with two months to be frankly if everything goes smooth so for two months conversion is just four flights actually and uh, well it depends on uh, what is your requirement if you want to do a multi or you want to do a single so i'm not getting into that i'm just uh, want to share the documents we require i don't want to go off topic so basically after your conversion is done from the flying school now you are eligible to apply for your indian cpl license Finally, इतना सारा स्टेप करने के बाद नाउ यू आर एलिजिबल टू अप्लाई फॉर इंडियन सी पी लाइसेंस रिक कर लेते हैं एक बार फटाफट से फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आर टी आर लाइसेंस मेडिकल एफ आर टी एल कन्वर्जन स्कूल डू यू अपलाइंग देन अप्लाई फॉर इंडियन लाइसेंस डन राइट सो द डॉक्यूमेंट्स यू रिक्वायर इज सो द फर्स्ट डॉक्यूमेंट इज सिग्नल रिसेप्शन सर्टिफिकेट whatever the school you fly with uh, will give you a single reception certificate and it's a document required second one is 300 nautical mile cross country statement so there's a requirement in dgca for license issuance is that you have to fly 300 nautical mile cross country with two full stop landings on different airports which are 100 nautical mile separated from each other all right so that one uh, 50 hour pic cross country and the cross country requirement is it should be 100 nautical mile apart from your uh original letter from all right uh 50 hour pic cross country then it's uh, same instrument time uh it's uh, 20 uh, 40 hours instrument time so that uh, 40 hour instrument time is total of your same hours plus your actual aircraft instrument time so combined that should be around 40 hours above that not around 40 hours it should be a 40 hours and above that all right so instrument time statement 15 hour pic statement in last 6 months so it's the main thing which every school will look and is the main thing which defines you have lapsed your hours or not so in last 6 hour you should be recent uh, 15 hour pic and uh, yeah it's uh, it's a very important document so you should be familiar with that hmm. and 5 uh, hour pic by night in those 15 hour there should be 5 hour pic by night with 10 take off and 10 landings all right uh, and uh, the next one is 5 hour instrument time in preceding 6 months so say it's just 5 uh, hours instrument time you require in the last 6 months to be able to apply for a cpl license and the next one is ca39 form so ca39 is basically the last 6 months uh, statement it's sort of uh, how many hours you have flown in the last 6 months is a ca39 is a form uh, is a official document is a official uh, what do you say document ki kehte hain for uh, flying for the conversion license ca39 you require that skill test reports ir reports so uh, basically you require ca40 ca40 is for gft day and night and ir skill test report uh, f- which is uh, given by indian government sort of a page just display it here it just sort of look like this and you just have to your school will do it for you you, do, you they will stamp it for you and you have to do your signs so you just take it uh, to your home country to india when you are coming and 100 hour pic 
statement. So the 100 hour PIC statement is also the crucial one. I mean, actually the everything I'm saying it's crucial, you need it. Uh, so 100 hour PIC statement, every skill test, the so every skill test is your GFT day and night taken in foreign state and uh, foreign country actually and uh, the GFT day and night 250 nautical mile, 120 nautical mile flight which is taken in India is the skill test uh, which is asked which uh, the DGC asks for every skill test like yeah, just include everything IRJ, GFT day and night uh, Indian GFT day and night uh, 250 cross country 120 nautical mile night alright and uh, these are all the documents which DGCA asks and uh, the extra documents uh, which I carried uh, uh, no and also it also asks for uh, accident and incident free report there is a certificate you have made by a school accident and incident free require that also uh, the ATO certificates of the school the school will give you uh, the ATO certificate is the school recognized by the civil aviation authority in the foreign state the DC just want to know that mm. and uh, also this guy and uh, the, these were all the documents which are required and extra documents you can carry a bunch of extra documents like I did like just uh, carry a rating certificate I'm rated on this this aircraft and uh, airworthiness certificate mm. the aircraft I've flown is airworthy mm. Our total hours, certificate, statement, many things, right? And uh, just when you are in a flying school, there should be many Indian students who have gone to India and converted their life. Just ask them, ask to them ki what documents they carry. It will help you a lot. See, this video is just general which DGC requires, but there are many documents which DGC require after you go back to India. All right. So just ask them, like, uh, what documents do you carry? and they will just uh, give it to you it's very easy in my school like uh, when i did my training i just uh, had a bunch of list like okay my school is taken my uh, friends who have gone to india have taken these documents so i have to make these exact same documents without any worry so just ask them okay and uh, i will i've said like basically everything with the documents you require and the procedure as well to get to you the submission to take to get you to the submission state of your license and uh, after once you are done with this you just have to wait and uh, in the, and also yeah and also you have to apply for your uh, you have to give your log books and your uh, with your SPL and your foreign CPL license to DGCA headquarters right which is opposite the uh, same Jorba okay so my preference would be you just uh, go in person and just give it to them all right and uh, if you are living in a very far state just just uh, post them speed post them or whatever mm. so do it early because when you apply for your license they ask for the tracking number you have to put in the tracking number so just uh, give the logbooks uh, license and your uh, spl along with this these are the four main things required and along with that just put in your uh, bharat kosh payment slip which you're going to apply for the license and uh, your medical assessment as well the photocopy of that just put in that together and just uh, post it to dgca all right mm, yeah so basically this is it all the uh, all the documents will be in the description just have a look and uh, just ask to those friends who have done flying and have submitted their license or who are about to just for the documents for sake don't take this video lightly because these are the DGCA documents we are required and just ask for many like don't take this video very seriously though like I said these documents you only carry these documents then you blame me like you didn't tell me this so I don't want that just uh, make sure you ask uh, many of your friends before coming to India just get those documents I have said the documents which uh, I carried mm, which I carried obviously uh, yeah and uh, also the extra documents would be your technical examination pass certificate uh, yeah I mean 
लिस्ट तो बहुत ज्यादा हो सकती है भाई एक्स्ट्रा डॉक्यूमेंट्स की बट द मेन वन आर दीज दिस डी जी सी रिक्वायर्स राइट सो आई थिंक शॉर्ट नोट आई थिंक आई कवर्ड आई कवर्ड ऑलमोस्ट एवरी थिंग विच आई विच आई डिसाइडेड टू मेक इन दिस वीडियो पर्टिकुलर वीडियो एंड या सो ऑन द स्वीट नोट लेट्स एंड टूडेज वीडियो आई होप यू लाइक इट आई हेल्प यू गेन सम इन साइट फ्रॉम इट and make sure to hit a follow and hit a subscribe and like the video if you like the content i keep making them and it just sort of works best take care of the video and if you like it and if you like it keep watching your favorite channel